Hello one, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Look, Christmas is fast approaching, which means we need to get some flyers ready. And in this tutorial, that's what we are going to do. I'm going to be walking you through all the steps you need to take to be able to design what you see on your screen. And before we get into it, just in case this is your first time seeing my face and visiting this channel, look, I invite you to subscribe to this channel because everything you need to know about Canva can be learned over here. And one last thing, just in case you're in the free version of Canva, I have a link in the description box below that can help you sign up for Canva Pro for free. So make sure to check it out as well. Let's dive straight into the tutorial. So this is what we are going to be creating like I showed you earlier. So I'll create a new page and what I'm going to do is I'll delete this so that I show you how I did it. Make sure you are using the dimension 1080 by 1080. Very easy and very simple. Okay. So once you have it open, make sure you're coming into colors. Okay. And select any color at all. So make sure you're selecting red and the red I'm using is A20000. Okay. Then come into gradient. Make sure you are having two color gradient and select the circular gradient. Okay. We should give you something like this after you do that make sure you are swapping the colors which simply means dragging the colors just to change the position now the first color you want to use the same red okay then you drag this down a little bit so you can see what we have so instead the black has to be around not to be in the center okay so we'll just swap it again okay like this very easy and very simple this is very sweet so the next thing we are going to do now is adding the round christmas decor and to be able to find this i've linked it in the description box below so that you don't have to struggle too much okay so make sure you check it out download it and upload it in canva okay so i will just come here and paste it in here you can see very simple and what you need to do is after you've added it come into photos okay then come into shadows and make sure you're selecting the glue so once you do that the size set the size to 15 the blur amount to 50 the angle to 62 and the intensity to 50 so we have something like this all right now come back into element and search for christmas ball okay so christmas ball you will see so many samples so you can just choose any ones of your choice i'll come into photos and choose this one okay and i'll make sure i'm increasing the size as well so this is what we have so once you add it make sure you're coming back into your element and just search for circle okay so after you do that make sure you're going into photos like we have over here then choose any of the circles in here okay reduce the size a little bit and make sure the circle is centered all right then come into edit photos to come into shadows and choose glow for this one as well with the intensity we are going to increase the intensity the blur amount should also be increased okay something like this the size should also be more so after you do that what you need to do is to increase the size of this okay and if you have to use your arrow key make sure you are using your arrow key okay so you have it centered like this and send it just behind the circle okay once you do that me you might not even see the effect of the shadow so you want to increase it a little bit okay so you can have something like this very 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 beautiful okay so after we've done that the next thing we are going to do is to add some light elements in our text okay so let's do that quickly make sure you're coming into elements again and just search for lights okay in here come to graphics and you should see this yellow light i really love this light element so much okay so you can increase the size to any you know size at all you want then press t on your keyboard to add your text and the text we are using is armstrong okay a m s t r o n g then i would say christmas okay because i want this to say christmas so christmas and i will just bring it here is this g or c i don't know because i wasn't so sure if it was g or c <laughs> anyway so would place it here duplicate it and this should say mary okay but we would want to if you want you can leave it like this but i would want to use a different font okay for the mary but let's change the color first and let's come into effect and add some shadows okay now come to color and make sure you're choosing black for this okay now the transparency increase it a little bit and the offset make sure you're reducing it to something like 25 okay and add some blur some slight blur in here and after we do that we can just change the font of the first mary okay or of the mary so i'm using the font la lux script okay but if you want you can still maintain this because i think it still works well okay then let me just position it and make sure we are selecting everything reduce it a little bit and place it here so you can see what we have at the moment we are not done yet so don't think we are done we are not done yet the next thing we are going to do is to add some extra balls and some extra element to make everything look beautiful okay so 
let's go back into element and search for christmas ball again so christmas balls okay so you can see we have a lot you can just select any of them just hang some more christmas balls in here okay so i'll just select more christmas balls and i'll be placing them in my design just like i'm doing right here okay so you can select as many as possible i'll skip this step fantastic so now that we've done that the next thing we are going to do is to add some snowflakes okay so just search for snowflakes all right and you should see some interesting snowflakes you can add any of the snowflakes here of your choice okay but the one i love is in photos okay so you can see this is the one i love to use so you can just spread them across okay and i'll also skip the whole process of me just spreading all of this across so that we don't waste so much time in this video amazing lovely lovely jubbly jubbly hey lovely jubbly <laughs> So the next thing we would want to do is to add our Christmas greetings. Okay, so I'll just press T on my keyboard and with this we would want to use the new times Roman. Okay, so just search for new times Roman. Okay, so times Roman and you should have it in here to so select it and make the size smaller. Okay, and I actually have some few Christmas greetings from chat GPT. So I'll just copy and paste that because just to make things very, very easy for us. Okay, lovely Javli. So we can see we have been able to add our Christmas greetings in here okay so one last thing we would want to add okay so let me just do this quickly I recently used the Canva magic media to create some 3d Christmas gifts okay so the link is also in the description box below by now you should find it because everything has been linked in the description box below okay so I have it in my upload so I'll come into uploads and I'll just find those boxes okay they are already bled because I've used them before and the effect has stuck to it okay so all you simply need to do is make sure you're coming to edit for to come to blur okay and add some blurriness to it okay so that's all you need to do now duplicate it okay and then um, what we can also do is we'll just rotate it and position it somewhere here okay and make sure you're bringing the text in front what you can simply do is right click come to layer come to show layers okay and move the text on top it should be on top of everything so that it's easy to access the text and you can see this is what we have been able to do i hope you found this tutorial helpful and just in case it was very easy to follow please make sure to leave a like just to support this video and just in case there's something else you want me to design in my next tutorial kindly make sure you're leaving it in the comment section below the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video Whoosh. christmas bells cast a spell on the world bringing you home to me from across the sea